Welcome to the Hank Sisko Show. It's all about China and getting ready for Chinese New Year. So now, my guest, you know, I, I gave, made a phone call to the Mainline Cultural Center and I asked if they would send somebody over here to talk about Chinese New Year. And who did they send? They sent Sue. What's your last name? Tung. Tung. And she is so talented. She's got so many. I said, well, talk about Chinese New Year. But she's going to, she's a painter. She's a, a president of different organizations. So I'm so happy. And this book here is all about China. My nephew brought this over from China. He was over there studying for a year and a half. This is a great book. Oh, my God. I, I never saw anything like it. And a lot of colored pictures, tells a history. You know what I like about China? <laughs> they invented spaghetti. <laughs> and that, we Italians were 100% for them, you know. And here, my, my good friend, Yen, and John sent me this, and it means blessings, and blessings to you and your home, your family, good and all your you. loved ones. So God bless you. And I have this hung in my house. And uh, another, so I don't want to talk about her. I'm going to talk about her. <laughs> you, tell me something about you. What did you, give me your full name. Okay. Uh, my name's Su Cheng. All right. Now, and, tell me what you do. Okay. Uh, I'm one of the board directors for Mainline Chinese Culture Center. I'm also the founder and president have ABD. Talk loud, I can't hear when I hear an age. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I'm also uh, founder and the president for ABD International. Oh, yeah, we what do. What do they do? They exchange students and stuff? Yeah, from? we do, like, we are the uh, international business development consulting companies. So we have close partnership with Mainline Chinese Culture Center for bring business bring that, and culture right. Right. together, yeah. All right, now, you're, where were you born? I was born in China. China, what in part? Chong, in Chongqing. Who? Chongqing yeah. is in South. What's the population we're, there? We're, we're the hot and food, spicy food, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what, uh, what, what, what's, what's your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food probably will be like a, uh, spicy uh, chicken. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I usually wind up with wonton, egg roll, uh, and uh, shrimp with lobster sauce, and uh, uh, and lo mein, uh, pork lo mein or so. I usually a combination, you know. Yeah. So, you know, when I when I was single, I used to take my girlfriend down to Chinatown in, in Philadelphia, and uh, I would like the egg roll, and uh, okay. they would say, I don't know the Chinese food, you know. <laughs> so I used to put the hot mustard on theirs, and I would eat the rest of it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, now, this is now we're celebrating the Chinese New Year, New Year. right? Yeah, yeah. And tell me, what, what are some of the things that are going to happen? You have something going on at the, at the center? Yeah, so basically, let me give you a little bit uh, more information about Mainline Chinese Culture Center. About so, New Year's. Yeah, and the uh, Mainline Chinese Culture Center... Uh, it's a nonprofit organization. It's founded 2003, and uh, we have a weekend school. We teach Chinese for Chinese families, Chinese American families, and, and uh, uh, American families, non-Chinese heritage families. Uh -huh. So, work on all peoples, uh, and we teach Chinese. We teach culture class. For the weekend school, we teach like a sport, like a kung fu, Chinese martial arts. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we also have academic course like SAT preps and the mass um, enrichment, all kinds of classes. Yeah. And then we have summer camp. But yeah, we summer have summer camp, camp for, what? What do you do? for, for, uh, for the same like teaching Chinese, we teach in culture class. Oh, culture. Yeah. yeah, for the summer. So we do, and uh, we have probably majority of people 
it's a non-Chinese heritage. The students come here. Yeah. yeah. And, and you, we you're do, a teacher too. You teach in a part yeah, of the course. Yeah, I, I taught uh, I taught Chinese painting and calligraphy there, and uh, um, we also um, we host a couple years for we host like a music show, Mid Autumn Festival uh, there. Yeah. And uh, we have uh, uh, for we also Mainland Chinese Culture Center works with ABD. We partnership to bring business. Oh, yeah. and to, how do you work that where you get the exchange? How do you, how do you make a contact with that? How do you, who, do you, who do you contact? Organizations or individual people? Yes. We, for me, I grew up in Chongqing in China. So I've been here a uh, pretty long time, over like 10 you years. You go back and forth? Yes. And I have uh, contacts in China and my hometown. And here I work with Chess County um, Commissioner's Office. Terence for real, yeah. so we work together, and uh, since I know both sides, so I bring help them bring business together. And oh, okay. Yeah, that's and the uh, Mainland Chinese Culture. I mean, Mainland MLCCC and ABD. We work together uh -huh. to do a lot of project together. When I, I, when I talk to you on the phone, and he says, "What is the dress code for the show?" <laughs> <laughs> I says, "Well." We're going to talk about Chinese New Year, so wear something Oriental, right? right. So what, you got a beautiful dress there. Thank you. Now let Thank me you. see. Got that there? All that, yeah. This right. is called Qi Pao. It's like a. And that's, that's all the hand, hand handmade. Yeah, those are handmade. A lot of money. <laughs> huh? So uh, Mainland Chinese Culture Center, we hold, we host like a Chinese every year Chinese New Year gala. And is, that, the, is, that a, is that a special dress for a certain occasion? Yes. I mean, people wear the, for, it's like tr a Chinese, uh, traditionally we wear qi pao and to, for the Chinese shows, or sometimes people wear this to parties. And this is, a, this is more like a, uh, for, for the show kind of style. When we it's like go party every day where you won't be as colorful. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> so we, we host a, a Chinese New Year Gala and uh, you will have like a, um, every year we do it annually for Chinese New Year. So we had two hours um, performance show. Uh, uh, what, and, what do you do? Sing, dance, what? Yeah, sing, dance, folk dance, Chinese music. Can we get some singing. over here sometime? Yes, definitely. We, we have some. Yeah. It's going to be... Uh, this Sunday, January 29th, oh, uh, in Green Valley. This Sunday? What's this the date? Sunday. It's the 29th. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. this show won't come on until afterwards, so. Yeah. But so. Uh, you got anything coming up later? Yes. That gonna, but I, I want, so you can advertise it here, so we can, the people will go. And okay. where, it's, where's the location it's now? It's uh, Green Valley High School. And Green Valley High School. It, it's in it, Marvin. Huh? Uh, Freezer, Marvin. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. So, and they sing and dance and things. Yeah. Well, you touch base. I want to get some singers or dancers, or <laughs> drummers or something. I don't know. And then yes. we want to get some Chinese food here. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, we can do that. give me uh, your role here. Oh, Let oh. Let me show you some of your talent. Oh. You know, you, I notice a lot of Chinese, they're flowers. Everything seems to be flowers. Your paintings, your signs, uh, almost everything has to do with Flowers and you, you painted some, right? Yes, this. So show yeah. me, show me um, some of your some of your work. You did it with a little, and this is your painting thing here. Yeah, uh, we call this uh, for treasure, for treasure. So basically, use that for for the set I have. It's for calligraphies, and uh, you have the brush. Uh, let me hold it up so I can get okay. to the camera. All right. And this is the brushes, right? Yeah, and the, the brushes. And this points to me what they do. Okay, so this is the ink stick, this one, uh -huh. since you cannot see it. And this is the ink stone. So what you do is put a little bit of water in there, and you will use the ink stone to make ink. It makes the color. Yeah, make the black ink. Uh -huh. So then you use the brush then you will use that to write. 
and the, the way you hold the brush, oh, what's this? it's a little bit different. Oh, this is just for you to hold the brush when you're doing your work. Oh, okay. And this? And this, <laughs> this is for when you're doing the, after you're done. Oh, that's, okay. The that's red. for the seal. Red is a favorite color. Yeah, that's for, I you had know, a red necktie, red. but I couldn't button this button, so I said, forget about it. That's okay. You look great anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you anyway. Uh, and this here is what? This here. Uh, this is my seal. This is my, my name seal name stamp oh, okay. so this is my so after i do my painting or my calligraphy after i write and this is the paper we use like rice paper rice oh, paper the, that yeah paper that's a special use? yeah is to that use special it, paper it's special paper oh, yeah. yeah yeah observing the water and to make the painting look really beautiful you do something in five minutes uh, i don't have uh, oh, the, uh, okay. the color, everything. We can do it some other time. Okay, next time. <laughs> yeah. Next time. Uh, but, uh, you know, after you've done the work, All right, so you will see be... that's here. Okay. Hold it up to the camera. Okay. Show um, it to that camera over here. All right. So this is a bookmark I made. So you just paint the flowers. You did that? Yeah. You paint that? Then oh, after no. you down, then you... you that's your logo. It. Yeah, that's my logo. Oh, basically. okay. <laughs> and then your name... Yeah, uh, I don't have room Just to sign my it. name, but uh, I have some other paintings. You will see my name, like this. You will see. Oh yeah, my that's name. pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So that will have my name. Then I sign yeah. it. Yeah. Let me and, see. Uh, I now, now you gave me one. Right? You can, yeah, you can have I one. I picked yeah. here. You picked love. And this, <laughs> and this means love. Right. <laughs> okay. This means that's love. That's a calligraphy. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, get that. Okay, <laughs> this is mine, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is a flower. Yeah. And this is very nice here. That takes how how long? Yeah. Here's love flowers. Yeah. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. All right. Now we got to put this back in here. Okay. Yeah. Now, my my net my friend John. Doyle, or John Doyle. <laughs> John McBride and Yan brought this back from China. And tell me what this, what this is all about. So this is like a, in Qing Dynasty, and uh, this is like a warriors. Like a real, they, okay, when, before he died, he built monument. Well, yeah, like he a was, tomb. Yeah, a tomb, tomb and yeah, so he will have the real people figure to carve them and to, to you know, after you die, they will still so they, serve. So they yeah. look like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah, that's what they do. And, but uh, this, of course, I mean, this is just the. And I see it's written in, yeah. in Chinese and also in English, which right. is good. Yeah, yeah. So it's very special. So each one is a little. Yeah, they're actually based on the real people's figures. This is this what is, they look like. Yeah. What they look like, yeah. Look like Boris Koloff. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is a horse. And yeah, this and is, the horse too. This yeah. is the year of the horse. <laughs> what well, this year? This year is the year of rooster. What? Rooster. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, <laughs> yeah, the horse. Have, yeah. And that yeah, it has a saddle. Yeah, okay. it's a, yeah, I, a lot of details. Yeah. In there. yeah. Beautiful. Right. Come on, get in there. You come out there. <laughs> out there. Right. Now, uh, let me see this. Oh, you want to see this? Okay. Yeah, let me get. Let me. Let me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> watch this. One. Am I got it right? Yeah, you got it right. And she painted this. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> and this is your logo. Yeah. And this is your name. Right. Down here. You're right. And this, and this is the year in, in lunar, lunar uh, years, so you write it that way, since it is Chinese painting, ah, yeah. That's very nice. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. It's, it's like, what kind of tree is that? Well, it's cherry a, tree? Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a cherry tree. <laughs> I used to climb the, uh, my neighbor, they had a cherry tree, we'd go over there and Climb the tree, climb the fence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna roll that up. Sure, All right. yeah. Now, you know, I, 
When I worked, I worked at the shipyard quite a while ago, and uh, before I went into the service, and there was a Chinese guy that worked with me, and he was teaching me little little Chinese. Uh, what the? Soigen? Uh, What's that mean? Soigen? Soigen, no. Do you? Soigen? No. I love you or something like that? I love you. I, um, I love you means that. How do you say I love you? I love you. Hey, goodbye. That's very, uh, but he was very nice. And he used, he used to bring some Chinese food for lunch. Mm -hmm. And I would bring a little zeps and hoagies, you know. Okay. So we made an exchange. And that, that sounds get good. A lot. Sounds like fun, right? But. You, how about, what else do you do now? You, you're involved with exchange students and all, right? Now, how does that work? Now, if somebody wants to get in, in touch with exchange to go to China, what, how, do, how do you contact you? Yeah, they could contact Mainland Chinese Culture Center or contact ABD, and we can help them. And most of the time, we work with third parties. Uh, they will bring people come to different schools, and we have all the information so they can. They Is there an age group? Yeah, it depends. I like uh, for uh, maybe summer, summer camp or stuff yeah. like that, yeah. Uh, all right, now I got a, I got a, a question from the audience. Oh, right? <laughs> audience, okay. What area is your favorite Chinese tradition? Uh, what area is my Chinese tradition? Okay, Chinese tr tradition, my favorite Chinese tradition. I guess it will be Chinese New Year, since it will, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year uh, is like uh, the biggest uh, holiday yeah. uh, for China. So for especially uh, for little kids, because I mean, for Chinese New Year, it's for honored ancestors, Who? and to honor ancestors, for your oh. family, so you, you know, Okay. Whoever who passed and you have fireworks away. too, right? You have fireworks, and it's like a. And then the dragon. Yeah, it's. What's that it's, have it's, to do with the, the dragon? What's the dragon? <laughs> it's for you know, for the for the for bring you a good fortune, good luck, and it's just dragon is something very powerful, and they are a blessing, and will bring you know, good luck. Yeah. And uh, so for the kids, uh, the uh, important thing is the family get together. And it's New Year is like a, there's a, a saying like a, a ring out the old thing, ringing a new thing, right? Oh. So that kind of thing. Yeah. So mm -hmm. and for the for the family, they get together, and the, also the kids, they will get red envelopes. They what? So red envelopes. Oh yeah. So the red envelopes, so see, like we hear in Christmas, you get gift, but in China, uh, the the kids will get red envelopes from their parents, from relatives. You know what's in there? Oh. You know what's in there? Can you guess what's in there? Right, right. good. It's uh, money. Money? That's why. Oh, so there? It's, it's, it's a red envelope. Then, then the, grand, uh, the parents or grandparents, or relatives, they put the money in there, give to the kids. Instead of a gift, give, they give them the money. Kids. Yeah, it's a red envelope, yeah. I mean, no, so, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I guess that will be, well, when you favorite. were growing up in China, and you went to school, right? What is the difference in American schools and Chinese schools? Just a couple things. My, uh, what's my, the difference? My, uh, my nephew told okay. me some things. Like, yeah, I guess the uh, the. They don't big, have no, do you have a lunch period? They they, they do. They, they do have lunch period. I mean, those days a little bit different. So first of all, uh, at my time, at that time, we don't have school bus. No school Wait, bus. No, you just walk to. You walk regardless yeah. how far. Right. Bicycle. Uh, you most of the time you don't you, you know nowhere to park. Too many people. Uh huh. So you would just uh, walk anywhere it's supposed to go. They have of course district, the school you can go, and the uh, uh, other thing is that uh, they have lunch. They have a nap time, for special. They have it's no nap time here, right? So the rest, the after lunch they have a. Uh, like half hour, hour, like a break. So that's when I was young, that's the big difference because they think it's really important yeah. uh, 
during the long day, you have a break. And the, you have a break. Uh, you have a but break. But how many, how many hours are you in the, in the school room? Uh, it's going to be, I remember it correctly, yeah. now probably a little bit changing, like four hours in the morning, four hours in the afternoon. What then, time? Like about four hours. Four in the morning and four hours. In the morning and four hours in the afternoon. Right. And you so get a, then you a, a get break. about an hour or so break. Right. You need to uh, take a nap. <laughs> who, who, who sweeps the floor and cleans the classroom? Uh, still then. Students? Yeah. But yeah. of course they have. They have no janitor. In the, <laughs> yeah. They do have janitors for like, a, but for the classroom. Yeah. We encourage kids when they're young, they help out because uh, we very, we believe to help kids uh, starting to join you to help out. You will help them. Yeah. You know, when they grow up, they, they love to work and hard working. And they, ha they have taken care of their own laundries. They're taking on their own rooms to clean up. So we do classroom yeah. clean right. up. So by what, what time does school start? 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, early in the morning? or what? Eight, um, My time now, I'm not quite sure, probably around 7.30, 8 o'clock, something like that. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> now here's another one from the balcony. From the balcony. Says, uh, hello, balcony. OK. All right. Ready? Read it out loud. How? How has China changed since you lived there? Oh my goodness, yeah, that's, that's a really good question. It has changed a lot. A lot? Yeah, because... To the good or the bad? Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, nothing's perfect. Nothing, yeah, nobody's nothing's perfect, perfect right? So, uh, I, um, of course, uh, majority, the main is good. It has changed a lot in a good way. And uh, um, because every time we... Like I came from like a Chongqing, where Sichuan uh, in the south, right? The city is really big, and every so uh, every time I go back, I will see new buildings. Uh, so infrastructure, like it's just like, like a, it, it's like a technology, and the uh, people's life has changed dramatically. Yeah. So it's getting better and better. They dress, they, they dress, dress better. better. Yeah, yeah, everything. Is, uh, it's in other words, every time you go back, it's, it's always something. Always yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. I'm right. glad that you know. So, uh, how about how far did you go in school? How far? Yeah, how far did you go to For high me? school? Oh, okay. I actually, I, <laughs> I have two master degrees. Two masters. Yeah. How many you need? <laughs> I know. I don't need that many. <laughs> I had my uh, bachelor degree master, in China. Master, wow, wow. what would you take up? Okay, I have a master degree in computer science. What? Computer what? science. Oh yeah. And the master degree in mechanical engineer. Yeah. Wow. Anything but. else? <laughs> <laughs> then, then my passion will be Chinese. Uh, you know, Chinese culture. Uh, the art. You, uh, your main purpose is to promote good unity, right? Good uh, art, you know. And people go through music, through art, to yeah. make friends. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There are like a four arts in in China. We call it's very important. It's like a, a string instrument. String instrument. Oh. String instrument, uh, gu qin. And then we have a uh, thing, uh, people near go, which is called wei qi, go game. Like a white and a black stone, go game. Oh, yeah. And the calligraphy and painting, those are the four arts in school. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, in China, everybody very treasure it. And uh, it's like, very, it's, uh, I think it represents the culture really well. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you promote anything as far as the theater? I had someone in the audience uh -huh. here. Oh, promote what kind of uh, theater? It's yeah. like a theater. It's, yeah, like Acting. a Beijing, like a uh, Peking opera. They dressed up like a, or like yeah. a, yeah, Peking opera or the whole costume. Yeah, and mask, yeah, and right, right. My, my nephew, he was in a show, and he was there, and there, uh, other were dressed. He was dressed with some kind of, I don't know, some kind of uniform, and 
and he was singing. It was all singing. And I have right. a, I, yeah, I got the tape. He sent it to me. I, I saw my show. You yeah, know? yeah. And, so uh, but but the, the theater, the people go to much a theater, movies or anything over there? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a pretty, I mean, very much like what do we have here. It's very similar right now. Yeah. It, yeah. They, well, they, they have like American movies with the. Uh, yeah, they change. have American American subtitles. Yeah, subtitles. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Or sometimes they actually translate the whole movie, translate to Chinese. Mm -hmm. So you don't even have to look at the subtitle. You can just. Uh, yeah. You can. Yeah. You, yeah I got you another one. Yeah. Lots uh, of questions. How about this? <laughs> I talk about martial arts. You I'll do that? I don't particularly do it. You don't do it? Uh, for me, I mean, just. I, I, okay. I do a little bit Tai Chi. Tai Chi, it's more like a, you know, it's part of a oh, that, Tai Chi, that, yeah. I mean, that's for the exercise. Well, Ex not really. It's the I one mean, I see where they go like this here, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like there. But it could be, oh. <laughs> well, it's actually part of Good. martial arts. Well, I go to therapy two days a week, and that's we got to loosen yeah. up, you know. Yeah. I thought I was in China. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right. But you know, you know, but it's actually part of martial arts. Yeah. And Kung Fu, you watch Kung Fu Panda? Yeah. Kung Fu Panda. What's that? Kung Fu Panda, it's like kids show, like Panda, and he does all those Kung Fu oh, yeah, warriors. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, so, uh, there's no, not many Chinese football players. How come? Uh, because they're not 250 pounds or so. They're all, you know. Yeah, I guess it's not... No. Football is not as popular. I mean, it's people not started popular there. now. Yeah, they're more like. But do you know ping pong? Ping pong. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Table tennis. Yeah. That's something yeah. that yeah. they, you know, like the whole country loves it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ping pong. All that. I I remember when I used to go to the YMCA, and we played ping pong. So look, we we did everything. Is there anything else you want to add on here? We got thirty seconds. We have thirty seconds. Go ahead, talk while I call. Oh, okay. Well, uh, it's, uh, well, thank you very much for inviting us. All right, tell and me what, something about your... your uh, the Mainland Chinese Culture Center. Cultural Center. Center. Yeah, the Cultural Center will be hosting a Chinese New Year Gala uh, this Sunday, it's so, uh, 29. Yeah. So we have a two-hour performance show and uh, two hours a culture fair. We have lots of activities. Like uh, the kids' games, well, uh, you can write uh, calligraphy. I want, <laughs> I want you to bring some singers or dancers or so later we'll, on. We'll love I really to. appreciate that. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for allowing us to come in here, and I'm, I think we opened some doors to new culture and and, and meeting people. You know, I, I love it. The, the diversity is great, and you know. The music, the food, the friendship, that's what it's all about. So, I, you know, one little thing that I used to go down to Shanghai Gardens and my wife said, I, love, I want some Chinese food. And she was pregnant. I said, you yeah. oh, we went down, right? So while she was eating the Chinese food, she said, I got pain, so, I got in the car, and we made it back home. Well, otherwise, you would have had a little baby in Chinese restaurant. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for allowing us, and God bless everybody. The blessing is you right here, okay? And this means love, and that's what it's all about. Thank you so, so much. So, Sue, for thank you so much. Thank you thank so you. much. And for you're coming us. back. Okay? I will, yeah. So, until we meet again, keep Bob and we may God bless each and every one. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I'm sorry I didn't have my tie. I couldn't button it. You know, it wouldn't button. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's have a little toast to your health.